In this video, we want to see how to calculate hours worked for night shift and day shift in Power Query using the functional language behind every Power Query, M code. Now here's our table with start and end times. And I've already imported it into Power Query. Now last video, we talked about how to do a night shift time calculation in Excel. And the same exact formulas worked in DAX. And here's the formulas we used. And we have the freedom in the worksheet and DAX to actually do math operators on different data types and not get into trouble. When we jump over to Power Query, we always have to be careful about data types. So for example, if we subtract two times, here in Excel we can get a decimal. Over in Power Query, we get a duration. Now here's the formulas we used and the one we'd really like to use, which is the easiest in the Excel worksheet and DAX, is the mod function. But guess what? We did talk about the algorithm for the mod function. But this algorithm does not work over in Power Query. The number.mod function works in a different way. Luckily, we deduced this simple formula. Whatever the calculated time as a decimal is minus the int of that same decimal. Now, there isn't an int function over in Power Query. But guess what? We can use the round.down function. We'll actually see two formulas for the night shift and one for a straight day shift. So we'll open the query up. Now we already have two steps. We have end and start columns. And we'll start with the day shift formula first. I'm going to select end time, hold control, click on start time, go up to add column from date and time, drop down for time. And when we apply a subtraction, operator on times, it'll deliver a duration. So I'm going to click. And sure enough, there's a duration. It is days, hours, minutes, seconds. Now, the ones at the bottom here are not going to work with this day shift formula. But we'll do a formula just in a moment that'll fix that. Now, we need to convert this to actual hours. So up in the formula bar, now there's a bunch of awesome duration functions. And the one we want is total hours. This is programmed to deal with durations and deliver a decimal number. So I'm going to double click, open parentheses, close, and that'll give us total hours. Now, that'll be a decimal, so we're going to change the type from duration to number. And we want to change the column header, something like day shift hours, click the check mark. And so for the top three records, 2, 4, 10.25, those are all correct. All right, now let's calculate our night shift formula. The first one, we'll do add column, custom column, night shift formula 01. That'll be the name of the column. And the first calculation we're going to do is end minus start. This will give us a duration. That's not what we want. We want a decimal. So we're going to use a great function, number.from. There it is, tab. That will convert whatever data type, if it can be converted to a number, and it will deliver it as a number. Now let's click OK and take a look at this. Well, the positive decimals are perfect. We can just multiply that by 24. But these are not what we want. And the reason is because that time is smaller than this. So when it takes a smaller time minus a bigger time, we get a negative number. Now the good news is, if I add 1 to this, the absolute value between minus 0.67 and 1, that distance is exactly the time worked. So if I could just take that and then add to it 0 and 1 down here in a single formula element, we get exactly what we want. Now let's go back to the dialog box. I'm going to click the gear icon. We're going to have to use this formula element two times. So right in the formula, I'm going to define a let expression. A let expression just allows us to define variables. Now we could just use this twice, but then it would have to calculate twice. Now I'm going to call it the same thing I did in last video. The variable name will be n. 
It's the only variable, so Shift-Enter. We put in. Whatever comes after in is an expression we're going to create. It can use this variable or whatever it wants. For the time being, let's see what happens if we use number dot round down. There it is. Open parentheses on the n. Remember, we had positive decimals and negative decimals. For the positive decimals, it'll be rounded by default down to the nearest integer, which is 0. For the negative numbers, it'll be rounded down to minus 1. So when I click OK, that is looking awesome. Now if I just subtract these, 0 subtracted from the original n minus start, well, it won't change. Minus, minus 1, that'll be our plus 1. So really, up here in the formula bar, n minus, click the check. Those are exactly the decimals we're looking for. That 0.3229, that is the proportion of a 24-hour day that represents the 7.75 hours, or 7 hours, 45 minutes. So now we just have to multiply it times 24. And I'm also in table.add column, so I'm going to add the fourth argument, type number. Click the check mark. I forgot the parentheses right there. Now when I click the check mark, bam, there it is. Now I kind of like this one because we get to define a variable and calculate it just once. But there is another way to get that 0 and minus 1. So we'll click a new Add Column, Custom Column. This time I'm going to ask the question, is start greater than end? This will give us a logical value, true and false. If we use this in a math operation, well, at least over in Excel and DAX, it would be converted to a number 0 and 1. Over here in Power Query M code, we're going to use number.from, close parentheses, and I better get my case correct. We'll check. There's the zeros and 1s. And so I'm going to go back up to the dialog box, click the gear icon, number dot from, open parentheses, and now we want n minus start, close, and then we add two numbers. Uh, this would be a duration. This would be a logical. So we had to use number dot from on both. When I click OK, bam, there it is. There's that proportion for 7.75 hours. So we'll open parentheses, close times 24, comma, type number. And now when I click the check, bam, there's a second way. And there you go. After some renaming and some formatting, there's our three formulas, one for day shift, one with a let, using a derived formula from the mod algorithm over in Excel and DAX, and then your good old n minus start plus a logical test times 24. All right, this video was a bit of fun with M code and Power Query for night shift calculations. Last video, we saw how to do it in Excel worksheets and DAX. All right, we'll see you next video.